One of the first things that we're taught as a producer is to take one genre here, take another one, combine them, and then boom, you magically have some sort of new genre. But honestly, that's easier said than done because I feel like that's such a broad statement. I feel like there's not enough videos talking about this of how to actually take elements of other songs and then combine them. So in this video, I'm going to give you the most practical way to map out a song before you even start it. And as always, there's no right or wrong way to create, but starting with a direction to take your song in makes the creative process so much easier. So pulled up here, I have a triangle and it's a genre triangle. What we're gonna be doing is taking three different genres and then after that, we're gonna name three different characteristics of each genre. And that's gonna make taking different ideas from each genre and combining them so much easier. So for this example, we have Progressive House, Slap House, and Future Bass. In my opinion, these are all pretty different genres, so I feel like it's a good example here. So for Slap House, we have a big bass, we have a really dark vibe, and a lot of the intros are generally a Reese bass. Progressive House is going to have a lot of big leads, uplifting melodies, and generally there's also a lot of real instruments like pianos and strings used as well. Future Bass has a drum pattern, big detuned saw drop chords, and they're usually pretty emotional as well. And with this information, what we can do is simply take an element from each one. So for an example here, we could take the big slap house bass, combine that with some sort of uplifting progressive house melody, and then for the drop, maybe we don't have a four on the floor kick. Maybe we have some kind of drum pattern for future bass. And I feel like this is such a practical way of thinking of new ideas for genres. Instead of sitting there with a blank project, we actually have something to work off of. We can take an element here, we can take an element there, and then boom, we have something that we've never even made before. Another example is that we could take the dark vibe of Slap House, have a nice Reesey bass intro, and then for the drop, we can have some really big leads and maybe even some future bass drop chords. And maybe even for that intro, we could, honestly, we could just make the whole Whole song uplifting so maybe we have like really happy chords like a filter piano the intro and then have that build up to some kind of future bass progressive house drop i feel like this just opens up so many opportunities to think outside the box rather than just creating something that you always create in general and i also like doing this for artists as well so let's take martin garrix calvin harris and marshmallow marshmallow is known for his like future bass kind of stuff so like a really gritty drop bass Martin Garrix is really melodic and Calvin Harris has like a funky vibe. And we can take all those elements and then we kind of have an idea for the drop already. So what I want you guys to do is do this for yourself. Get a piece of paper, draw a triangle down, put three genres you like, name three characteristics. And honestly, it's better to name as many characteristics as you can so you have more to pick from. And then from those characteristics, you can just pick and choose your favorite ones. And this might not create a whole different style of genre, but it's at least gonna get some ideas flowing for your song so you don't go into a project with no idea at all. And Virtual Riot said that once too in some video on YouTube. He said it's so much easier to go into a project with some sort of idea rather than just staring at a blank screen and just not knowing what direction you're taking in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little idea. Let me know what you guys think of this. I just feel like it's such a practical way of just creating new ideas. So let me know and then I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.